On July 18th, the Three Gorges Dam received the largest water inflow since the beginning of this year due to heavy rainfall in Chongqing Sichuan and other areas in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. According to China's regulations on the numbering of major rivers, this meets the standard for the flood to be assigned a number. The Three Gorges Dam water level has increased by 8.04 meters over the past two days. After the Chinese official media reported on July 17th that the Yangtze River flood number 2 of 2020 had formed in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, the Three Gorges Reservoir's water level rose rapidly, rapidly reaching 61,000 cubic meters per second at 8 a.m. on the 18th. At 6 p.m. on July 18th, the water level in the Three Gorges Reservoir had reached 163.59 meters, more than 18.59 meters above the flood limit. The Three Gorges Dam started discharging water in order to protect the infrastructure, and on July 18th it opened five more floodgates, making it the largest flood discharge this year. The discharge flow has reached 36,000 cubic meters per second. According to experts from the Yangtze River Hydrology Bureau, they expect the flood number two will reach Wuhan City in four to five days. The water levels of the Yangtze River in Wuhan has risen well above Wuhan City's ground level, making it a veritable hanging river. While the average elevation of the city of Wuhan is 21 to 27 meters, the water level of the Yangtze River on July 17th in Wuhan has already reached 28.38 meters. Currently, Wuhan city is only protected by a large embankment along the river, and a video shows that water was seeping through, and if it collapses, Wuhan residents will be submerged in three to four stories of flood water. Some sources say the water logging in Chongqing is the result of continuous heavy rainfall and high water levels in the Three Gorges Reservoir downstream, which prevents water from draining into the Yangtze River. On July 16th, the Chongqing Hydrological Monitoring General Station issued four flood warnings in three hours. On the 16th, three landslide accidents occurred in Dunhao Town in Chongqing. As of the 16th, officials stated the accident has led to three deaths and three people missing. A video posted on the internet shows flooding in Wanzhou District in Chongqing. The old street of Wukeao town in the district was over 1.5 meters underwater. Floods overwhelmed the residents, washed away cars and poured into people's homes. More than 30 residential buildings and 1,050 households were besieged by floodwaters. Also located upstream of the Three Gorges Dam, the city of Enchi in Hubei province was extensively flooded on July 17th with some road sections having accumulated several meters of water. The city's transportation, hydropower, and network facilities were all severely affected. According to news circulating on social media, the flooding was caused by the embankment collapse of Qing River in Anshu. The Qing River is a tributary of the Yangtze River, and the water feeds into it from downstream. Since the Yangtze River increased its flood discharge, water from the Qing River could not flow out, which led to a rise in water levels throughout the basin. Coupled with heavy rainfall and flash floods in the mountains, the basin turned into a severely flooded zone and embankments collapsed. Due to flood peak number one, orange level flood warnings were issued for the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River, such as Dongting Lake area and Poyang Lake area. Wuhu City's emergency flood control response was raised to the highest warning level on the same day as well. A video taken by Chinese netizens on July 17th shows that flooding has reached residents in Anqing Anhui province, and citizens have to use zodiac boats to go home. According to the rainfall forecast released by the Yangtze River Water Information Network, heavy rainfall is still expected in the Yangtze River Basin from the 17th to the 20th. The official Chinese Vice Minister of Water Resources, Yi Jianchun, had stressed at a State Council Policy press conference on July 13th that the Three Gorges Dam is effective in controlling flooding. However, Reuters reported that David Shankman, a professor of geology at the University of Alabama who studies flooding in China, said that while one of the main reasons for building the Three Gorges Dam was to prevent flooding, in fact, the dam cannot stop floods as severe as this year's. Fan Xiao, a Chinese geologist, also noted that the Three Gorges Dam Reservoir holds less than 9% of the flood's volume. The Three Gorges Reservoir can only partially and temporarily intercept flooding upstream, but it can do nothing to stop flooding caused by heavy rainfall in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. He argued that the Three Gorges Dam and other major dam projects could make flooding worse by altering sediment flows in the lower reaches of the Yangtze River. The inherent need for engineered power generation for the dam also affects flood control. 
When people only consider using reservoirs to solve flood control problems, they tend to ignore, or even undermine, the natural ability of rivers and lakes to regulate flooding. Taiwan's Sanli Press website reported on July 18th that the flooding was getting more and more intense, and the flow rate at the Three Gorges Dam reached 61,000 cubic meters per second at 8 p.m. on that day. The dam is expected to receive a new round of incoming water on the 21st. Can the dam really hold? Thank you for listening to China Observer, Vision Times. To stay up to date on this story, among others emerging from China, please continue to watch our channel.